for some famous house guests. Wendy Erickson joins us with more on the history and rumored Hollywood connection. That's right, Heidi. Every year, firefighters in the Cedar Hill House Springs area raise money through a garden tour. And the house we're talking about does have beautiful gardens, but today you get to go inside the house and meet the owners who had no idea where a small for sale sign would lead them. It is a piece of paradise Jim and Sherry Crandall happened upon one day while driving through House Springs. And I saw this little sign off the highway, it said, for sale. And I said, what's behind there? Because you couldn't see anything. When they finally could see, they liked what they saw. For more than 12 years since, it's been a labor of love. Keeps me busy almost every day. Every day I would do a little bit of everything. From where you're standing, straight back with nothing but woods, we carved it out to a park. The place, named Pride's Crossing, includes four acres of secluded land and a house with a lot of history. The original structure is a log cabin believed to be built in 1871. The home has been added on to 11 times. This has all been carved out, the claws and the various shelf boards. The Crandalls have kept most things the same as when they bought it from the previous owner. Jack Sparkman was an artist with Hollywood Connections who told them and newspaper reporters Pride's Crossing in years past was a secret hideaway for stars who came to perform in St. Louis. Jack told me that Elvis slept in this room uh, twice and he actually spent the night. Judy Garland spent the night in the movie theater upstairs which used to be a bedroom. Friends have a good time with the whole Elvis idea which is fine for a fun guy like Jim Crandall. A guy who thought his piano needed a singer. When I walk by, sometimes I think she's kind of real. Uh, all right, I'm a little worried about that in that respect. <laughs> That's what my wife said, you know. <laughs> they do a lot of entertaining in this house, everyone from Governor Carnahan to golf buddies. And I had a party here one time of everybody that beat me in golf. I thought there was only 80, but there was 170 of them. And then yeah, there oh, are the uninvited there. guests. Ghosts. I didn't see it floating. They stopped talking and just started staring, and then all you heard was... They say strange things have happened more than once. He's painting the ceiling, and while he's painting the ceiling, there was a glass, a wine glass, and a sink. And it was going around in a circle like this. The Crandalls take it all in stride, hoping maybe people from the past are actually protecting the paradise they now get to enjoy. I really love the solitude. We get up every morning and, and we feel like we're on vacation every day. Now the Crandall's garden, just the garden, not the house, is one of the seven gardens on the Cedar Hill Firefighters Garden Tour. The tour is coming up on Saturday.